do subscribe to ekeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello friends in this video we are going to write an assembly language program for the 8051 microcontroller to count the number of positive numbers present in an array of numbers we are given an array of numbers the length of the array is given to us and from those numbers we have to find out that how many numbers are positive numbers so let's start with our program So let us first see the program statement. So in this video we have to write a program in the assembly language programming of 8051 microcontroller to count the number of positive numbers now here we have to assume that the length of the array is stored in register r0 of bank 0 okay we are not given that how many numbers are there and from those numbers we have to find out that how many positive numbers are present in that array so the length of the array is already stored in the register r not of bank 0 also we have to assume that these numbers this array is stored in the external memory from the location 3000 h so the starting address of the numbers from where the array is starting is 3000 h now we have to draw the flow chart also and the result of this that how many positive numbers are present those number is is stored uh, is the result is to be stored in register r1 of register bank 0 okay so this is our program statement so to count the number of array first of all the first thing we have to do is we have to get that number then we can check that whether that number is a positive number or a negative number now the number is already stored in the external memory okay so we have to bring that number from the external memory into the internal memory okay then only we can check that the number is positive or negative okay so in 8051 we are having the external memory and we are having an internal memory now in internal memory we are having the various registers and the most important register is the accumulator so first step will be we will load that number into the accumulator now when we have loaded that number after that in the question also we are given in that program statement that we have to assume that the length of array is stored in register r not of register bank 0 now in 8051 we are having four banks bank 0 bank 1 bank 2 and bank 
okay and in all these four banks register banks we are having 88 registers from r0 to r7 okay so the length of the array is stored in register r0 of bank 0 so second thing is we are we have to assume that counter 1 is equals to r0 register that is this is going to count the number of elements in the array that how many elements are present in the array whether there are 10 numbers 12 numbers 20 numbers how many numbers are present in that that is already stored in r0 so our counter 1 will be the register r0 okay third now we have to count that out of these elements in the array how many elements are the positive numbers how many numbers are positive numbers so we will initialize a second counter counter second by zero and this counter number two is going to count the number of positive numbers okay then now how we are going to check that whether the number is a positive number or a negative number we know that every number is represented in the form of 8 bits okay so these 8 bits are represented like These are the 8 bits from bit number 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 and 0. Okay. Now this bit number 0 is called the least significant bit and this bit number 7 is called the most significant bit. Now if this bit is 1 it means that the number is a negative number and if this bit is 0 it means that the number is a positive number so this concept will be used to count the number of positive numbers okay because we know if we can check this bit number 7 that if this bit is 1 then number will be negative number if this bit is 0 then number is a positive number so if we are able to check this bit then we can get to know that whether the number is negative or positive now how we can check this bit now if we move this number into the A register that is the accumulator register then with this A register we are having an instruction in the A051 instruction set which rotates the content of the accumulator with the carry flag okay so if we can rotate the contents or shift the contents to the left hand side by one bit and then shift this bit to the carry flag okay means we are rotating this contents with the carry flag then this bit will be shifted to the carry flag and the bit which is there in the carry flag will come to the bit number 0 bit 0 will become bit 1 bit 1 will become bit 2 and in this way every bit will be shifted to the left hand side by one bit okay and this most significant bit will be shifted to the carry flag now we can check the carry flag that whether the carry flag is set or it is reset means whether the carry is generated that is set means if it is one and whether the carry is not generated means it is reset or zero if it is 1, it means the number is negative number. If it is 0, it means that the number is the positive number. Okay. So this concept we will use to find out that whether the number present in that array is a positive number or a negative number. So in this next step, what we will do? In the fourth step, we will rotate the number.
in a register along with carry by one bit to the left okay now if there is no carry no carry means that the number is a positive number so the counter number 2 which is counting the number of positive number that should be incremented because the first number which we have checked that has come out to be a positive number so counter number 2 is to be incremented so if there is no carry then increment counter 2 that is number is positive so first number we have checked in that array now we have to come up to the second number okay so we will decrement this counter number 1 so first element is already being checked in that array so we have to come up to the next number so next number is uh, because in r not we have stored the number of elements present in the array so we have to decrement this counter one then second number will be checked that whether that second number is a positive number or a negative number so next step will be to decrement counter one now this process will continue up till this counter one has become zero suppose there are 10 numbers so r in r not we are having the value 10 10 will be decremented by 9 9 will come to 8 and up till that all these 10 elements are being checked that whether the out of these 10 elements how many numbers are positive and how many of them are negative okay so decrement counter number 1 up till uh, and re repeat the process process will continue till all the elements in the array are checked that is this counter 1 is equals to 0 okay next step will be because in counter 2 we are having the number of positive numbers counter 2 is counting that so that in counter 2 we will be having our result so in the program statement it is given that we have to store the result in register r1 of register bank 0 so last step will be result of counter 2 is stored in r1 register so this is how we are going to follow the steps in our program first of all we will load the byte in the a in the a register from the external memory then we will assume that counter 1 is having that is r not is having the number of elements in the array then we will initialize counter 2 then rotate we will rotate the number in the a along with the carry we will check that whether the carry is generated or not if carry is not generated then we will increment counter 2 then counter 1 will be decremented and the process will be repeated and after that when all the bits are all the elements are being checked then result is stored in r1 register now let's draw the flow chart for this in the flow chart the first step is the start this start is always drawn in the oval shape okay then in next step what we have to do we have to initialize our counter number 2 to count the number of positive numbers after that 
we have to load the number in the accumulator from the external memory and in the external memory the starting memory location 3000 h is given to us in the question now that the number from the external memory has come up in the accumulator so we will rotate the accumulator We are rotating the accumulator so that the MSB, it goes in the carry flag, okay? After that, we will check that whether the carry is one or not, means carry is set or it is reset. So here we are checking some condition that whether it is one or zero, so it will be in the diamond shape. Is carry equals to one? If carry is 1, then we have to decrement the number. If carry is not generated, it means that number is the positive number. So the counter which is counting the positive numbers, that has to be incremented. Sorry, here we will have when carry is not generated. Okay. Because uh, every positive number is having the most significant bit as 0. So, in that case, we have to increment counter 2. And if carry is generated, then skip this step. Come up to the next step. Okay. Now, next step is... We have to because uh, at first uh, first element of the array is being checked. Now we have to go to the next uh, element. Okay. So the memory pointer should be incremented. Also the counter number one that is the R0 that first element is being checked. Now second element is being checked. So we have to decrement. memory pointer after this step we will check that whether the counter 1 is 0 or not if it is 0 then we have to stop. Stop is also shown in the oval shape. And if it is not 0, then the steps are to be repeated. From this side. Again, we, have, we will load the data in the accumulator. Again, we will rotate the accumulator. We will check that whether the carry is generated or not. If second number is also a positive number, then in counter will be incremented. If second number is a negative number, then um, again the next number will be checked. The third number will be checked. So, in this way, the process will be repeated until and unless the counter 1 has become 0. It means that all the elements present in that array are being checked okay so this is the flow chart now let's write the program for it now to write the program what we have to do all the blocks which are present in the flow chart we have to replace those blocks with the instructions okay so it will become easy for us to write the program from the flow chart Now, if we again come back to our uh, program statement. So, in that program statement, we are given that we have to choose 
the length of the arrays is stored in register r0 of bank 0 and also the result is to be stored in register r1 of register bank 0 so i am i have told you earlier that uh, in the a051 this a051 microcontroller we are having four register banks bank 0 1 2 and 3 now in these banks each of the bank is having 8 8 registers from r0 to r7 okay now if we want to select any of the register bank register bank 0 we have to select so to select this bank we are having a program status word that is psw in 8051 this program status word it is an 8 bit register okay and in this register we are having two bits that is the third and the fourth bit and those third and the fourth bit they are used for the selection of the banks okay now to select the bank zero the third and the fourth bit it has to be zero zero then only the bank zero will be selected okay now to make these two bits 0 0 we will use the instruction clear CLR CLR then these bits are of the program status word PSW so we will write PSW we have to clear the third bit and also the fourth bit 